Get your first start here. Uh, it feels great. You know, it's been a long journey for me, and I can only thank the organization and the coaches and the trainers for putting me in a position to get back in healthy. What's it? What have you gone through? Just kind of put in perspective what you've been through the um, last few years. The last two years, I've been through two ACL tears. Um, my first one was a complete tear, and my second one was a partial tear. And they were telling me that I barely had any of my graft left. So uh, I just made it a hard decision to just sit out another year. As much as I wanted to play, I mean, I felt like, you know, after my second one, I would come back better and stronger. So I just made that decision to do that. How do you feel now? I feel great. I really feel good. What did it take to get back to feeling great? How, how hard was that? It was very hard, you know, just having to trust everybody and believe that I was going to get back healthy because, you know, I started doubting about if I was going to be able to play ever again. And so it it was a hard decision to get the second surgery and just be able to come back and play. But uh, Coach Glass and them, they just told me, you know, just keep fighting and everything. So I trusted and believed everybody that was talking to me. Was the mental part of it tougher than the, the physical part? Definitely, because I mean, if I start feeling any type of pain after surgery, and I'm like, oh, I can't do this, you know, and I just push myself harder than ever just to get back better. Was, you, it, you, was it the same day? Or? It was the same day, yes. Everybody's kind of talked about over the yeah, last couple Brandon. of weeks, it's next man up, next man up, but just kind of what does that mean to you? Brendan kind of announces he's going the rest of the season, you slide into your first start, just, you've lived next man up, so what, what, what does that mean? Yes, sir. So, uh, Brendan, he always told me, you know, just be ready whenever your time comes and everything. So even when he was playing, he always told me just stand by coach and be ready. So he mentored me to get me to the point where I am today so I could be ready just in case anything happened. What kind of frustrations did you deal with? Uh, just, you know, a lot of people, I mean, I came in here, transferred here in 2019, and a lot of people didn't know who I was. And so it was just one of those things where I started looking at social media when I kept getting injured, and I seen like a lot of people doubting me. And it kind of got down on my, I got down on myself because I just really didn't know how to feel. But once I started talking to my family and everything, I just blocked all the noise out and I just stayed to myself. I got off social media and I just let all the work do the talking. How did the game feel you played more snaps I guess than you've played in a really long time how did felt it feel great just felt great to be back out there you know it's been a three years since I've touched the field just playing so I mean just all the encouragement and the positivity that I was getting I just wanted to get out there and be as calm as I can so I just thank my coaches and everybody for doing that for me going back to your decision to obviously transfer from Arkansas and come in here what, what was that time of your life like um it was a rough time just because when we were losing but uh it was just hard because my coach got fired two games before the season was over and I had to make that tough decision with my family like what we wanted to do for the future and you know, my family didn't have like all of the finances and everything to make every single game. So I felt like that made my decision easier to just come back home. I mean, it went from three and a half hours to Fayetteville to being an hour away, an hour less away for them to come up here. So it makes everything easier for me. What, what, is, what has it been like then being back home so much? Uh, I mean, it feels great. I get that family vibe. I get to see everybody whenever I went to now. So, I mean, just getting the family vibe, family vibe and everything. Your brother's become quite the celebrity. Yeah. What has that been like for you? Uh, it definitely takes a lot of pressure off of me. You know? <laughs> I don't like a lot of attention anyway. So, I mean, to have him at five years old, that young, I mean, it's just building on top of what he can do. I mean, he has so much more life to live. So, I mean, him getting that attention and just getting the love that he has, it's amazing. Did you ever imagine he'd get that kind of attention? I honestly did not because, I mean, when we're at home, like, he's always hyped at home. So, I mean, it kind of just threw me off when – he did that at homecoming last year. And I was like, I've never seen that side of him. Like, he's hype, but he's never, like, loud like that. So, I mean, it shocked everybody. Were you on the sideline? Where were you whenever? I was on the sideline. So what, what what happens to you with it? I mean, everybody was like, wait, that's your brother. And I was like, yeah. I was definitely not expecting that. It definitely shocked me. So, yeah. Dude. Are your personalities opposite? Uh, I feel like we're similar a little bit. I'm, I have three other siblings, so I'm more of the – laid back quiet one and Warren can be very laid back when he wants to but he knows he has a switch on and off so he knows when to cut it on and off. How much does it 